Um, it would be hilarious if the entire panel was just me playing on a computer and not talking or looking at it. <laughs> I just realized I'm sitting here like I'm getting things set up. It's like, nah, you're, you're, you, you can watch, I guess. Uh, um, do I have to say it? How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. Thank you for attending. I. Fine, fine, fine. I have imposter syndrome. Fine. Um, I have a table in the back corner of the uh, of the Bender Hall, and I have some of my hacks, some of my repros, some of my custom games, and everything. And everything I do, anybody can do. Um, I had zero experience. I have zero tech background, which I talk about in some of my videos too. I knew nothing about hex editing before I started doing this. So don't think you need to know all of that. All the programs I use are free. Literally anybody can get up, go home, and do this right now using the same free programs I'm using. Um, and I, I want to give you a kind of a crash course in how I do that. Um, and we'll make it interactive too, so I'll grab, your, um, I'll grab your suggestions from the audience too. I'm using someone else's laptop. It's a great laptop, but it's not my laptop. So like, there might be a little bit of me fumbling around uh, what else is new. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to change some graphics in a game. And let's see, come on now. Here it is. Um, I use a program called Tile Layer Pro, and it, I, have a, I have a whole series on my YouTube channel as well, uh, really easy to find, it's a playlist of like, here's how to change the graphics, here's how to change the colors, here's how to change the, the, the text and all that. Um, so I'm, if, I, if I go too fast for you, it's okay, it's all on my YouTube channel as well. Older videos, um, but they still hold up for what we do here. So Tile Layer Pro can open up an NES ROM. So you can see what the graphics look like. And the graphics do not, for the most part, graphics don't look like full graphics. They're in these eight by eight little pixel blocks. And I gotta find out where I put all this stuff here because it's someone else's computer and I don't have all of my shortcuts and my grumble, grumble, grumble. Ah, here it is. Nope, try again. I gotta be quicker on the double click, there we go. Um, I'm sure nobody else in this room has just folders of NES ROMs on their computer, no? Okay, good. Uh, we have, um, <laughs> For the purpose of this uh, demonstration, I'm going to use Super Mario Brothers because it's the one that we're probably all most familiar with. But, and you can do this to most games, not every game. We can't do this to Shadowgate. Uh, we're not able to do this to Maniac Mansion. There's a couple of games that feature compressed graphics. I can show you that in a little bit, um, but you'll see what I'm talking about here. It might just be easier for me to type in. So, really? Easy for me to type. Um, is there just a standard Super Mario Brothers? Here it is, Super Mario Brothers. So here, how does it look? Oh, that's pretty good. Cool, cool, cool. Great, great projector. Um, so when you open up a video game, sometimes it'll look, it, every game will look completely different and how things are layered out. This looks like garbled mess. This is nothing. This is just the game's code in graphical format. We do not need to touch that. But when you scroll down a bit, you'll start seeing what kind of looks like could be pieces of graphics, and here you go. So you can kind of make things out a little bit. Um, you can, like, like, here's the top of the mushroom, here's the bottom of the mushroom. Uh, they're, again, eight by eight pixel blocks. Here's a princess, uh, the, the princess's face and the back of her hair, you know, things like that. Um, but still kind of hard to tell what's going on, really. So we have this tile arranger over here. And again, this is called Tile, uh, tile Layer Pro. It's, you can just search for it on Google or whatever. Um, free to download. It's kind of an older program. Um, but again, like I said, still holds up. You can drag and drop these tiles over here and start to see what's starting to resemble. There's Mario in 8-bit uh, format here. And there's the front of them. And here's another one. And sometimes they're layered like this. Sometimes, um, if you're lucky, they'll be in a... I can show you really quickly here. Open. Still in the ROMs? Perfect. Um, uh, what's, a, what's a good game? Um, like Conquest of the Crystal Palace, for instance. I think that's a good example. If it wants to load, thank you, appreciate it. Um, sometimes the graphics look a little bit more easier to see, easier to manipulate. Oh, look at that, that's, that, looks, that looks great. Um, and don't worry about the colors right now either. Like, there's a the title screen. Um, you know, there's his face, uh, there's some of the bosses and stuff like that too. So I mean, so, sometimes some games are easier um, than others. Um, the earlier Famicom games are oftentimes easier because there's not as many graphics, a lot of borrowed graphics. It's why Mario and Luigi, same graphic, you change one, you change both. Um, so here's Mario, and it'll be as simple as this tile editor. Well, this is where we can edit the tile. We can remove his hat, for, for, as, for example. And like that. All right, we can give him, um, we'll give him like spiky hair for no reason. Uh, changing the graphics do not change the, um, the, hit, the hit box, the hit detection. That's a completely different thing too. So there's 
kind of something anyway. Um, and the color looks a little weird. We can change the color for our own benefit. It's not going to change the color in game, but I'll show you how to do that here in just a moment. Um, Mario's hat is, let's see, that one is, is green. So I'll turn that to, let's say red, reddish. Um, his skin is blue, okay. Too much beta carotene. And then we have um, his hair color, which is also his overalls. And at least in this game, it's, it's brown. Um, and we can kind of transfer that to the Tile Ranger. Okay, so that resembles him a little bit more. Except for his dumb mustache, we can remove that too. <laughs> Come on, I, I, we are, I mean, we are in Portland, so maybe it'll blend right in, but well. <laughs> there's a little piece of that there. I mean, we can give him a, a I don't know, actually this might be kind of funny. Um, at least for now, give him a, come on, red. Just so I can see what it looks like. Big little goofy red smile there. Um, and like that, fine. Now, if we save this just as it, we haven't, we haven't even touched anything else, and we're gonna do that here right quick too. Um, I'm gonna put this just in the default folder so I can find it easier. Um, oh, really? What was that? Super, come on. E. Um, Super Mario PRG. Sure. Uh, this works. This is now a working, I'll show you. Go over there, over there, open this up. Slide it on, slide it on, slide it on, come on. E, E. This is great for my arthritis too. We have the USB drive. And it's only gonna be one frame of animation for now too, and you'll, you'll see that here in a moment. Will this play on here? Let's see how good I am on a keyboard. Oh, we got the music and everything. Where's my jump? That's my jump. All right, so when we get to Big Mario here. So you can see it, just one, uh, one frame of animation. We can do better than that, though. And if you want to as well, um, you can... Is this right-click? Okay. You can also copy and paste groups of tiles, so this will be insane here, but we can go control C, and then when you hit, you can, it'll just bring up that entire row that you just copied, and this will probably not match up completely, but here's this other frame of animation. It's gonna be him doing a, a front kick slidey. Here's him turning around. Uh, here's him jumping. Well, oh, come on. Okay, come on, there we go. Like that. All right, that's not gonna be perfect anyway, um, but we can save, we can save this now. It'll save over the, the previous file. Um, I have to open up, um, I use FCEUX, and I'll do that for hex editing too, which I'm gonna do in just a moment for changing the colors and stuff. So we have that, we have this, and now we have one form of something. Here, here we go. Let's try this again. Nope. Do not. There we go. Try it again. Which one's jump on this one again? There we go. Okay, get out of here. I totally died on that guy so many times. So now when you try to move, it's just gonna be... <laughs> to, just to show you, like, you can't just change one thing and it changes everything. Um, so again, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Uh, but the fun part is, Yes, you can change the graphics manually, and I, I do it frequently. The other thing you can do for the interest of time and whatever is you can also copy and paste tiles from other games. Um, so let me find, there it is. And um, this is something I did at um, the last convention I was at, which worked almost perfectly. But if you take um, the amazing game of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, <laughs> We have, so you see his walking animation there, but it's the same, and again, not every game is different, or, or every game is, um, not every game is the same, but this one also features the same, you know, two, like front and back, you know, four, four pixel blocks tall. So you can turn, you can turn Mario into, um, into Dr. Jekyll, if you'd like, by sliding these over here, yep. And then there's the third set, which would be where his arm is. And then his bottom set. And I'm going to, again, copy 
this and have it be, nope, oh, not over there. It's all fine, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything on that side anyway. And that did not save, so I'll do it again. You have to like, kind of drop it over it and then click any, where's it going? Am I? That's oh, lame. Oh, that's, that's, that's why I did that. Okay, you're right. I see that now. Um, so what happened was, you can highlight over here, but you do have to make sure that that's, that one is selected. There we go. Thank you. See, I don't, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just making it up as I go here. Um, and then for the other side, we'll have you know, the front, uh, uh, the, the, the standing, you know, it's a two frame walk. And you can do this for your friends. You can do, so you don't even have to put it back onto a physical cartridge. You can. It's definitely doable. Um, but even just to like, you know, just make it as a ROM to send to your friends or, um, you know, or whatever. You can certainly plenty of things to accommodate. This will not be exactly perfect, but I'll see what I can do. Oh. There's the front side. There's that. And then I'll also bring that one down to there. Again, not going to be perfect. Let's save it. And let's see what this looks like. I really should just keep this open here. All right. We just changed a Mario into a Dr. Jekyll. And let's see if this works to any degree. I think it will. I think it will. We're going to find out here right quick. Don't worry about it. Here we go. All right, so now, well, I mean, it's, well, it, it, it works when you move. But there, there he has a standstill, um, anyone when you duck. So it looks, I mean, it's as if Mario was a mascot, like Disneyland costume, and he still, he takes his head off for a second just to get a breather. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll leave that pause right there. Um, and you can kind of see where that would be. It's somewhere around here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's all right. We're, we're, let's, never mind about all that. Let's change everything else. Um, somebody sh uh, shout out a game. L literally any game for the NES. Earthbound Beginnings. I heard about five different, what was, what was the one you said? Contra. Contra, okay, Contra. Let's, let's, look at, let's look at Contra. Contra may or may not have anything we can change, but let's have a look. You never know. Uh, why did that not work? Contra, oh, there it is. Probably missed a letter. So here's Contra, and what do we got? What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Uh, there's bosses, there's... I'm not sure what that is. These are... This may, oh, okay, this game's using compressed graphics. It's, it's hard to, I mean, hard to, hard to tell or see, but sometimes you'll see this, what looks like that. Um, the graphics are kind of compressed. There are games, uh, Castlevania is one where the graphics, when I say the graphics are compressed, they're just, there's a way to just add more information onto them. Um, so it makes it so I can't edit using this program. There are, uh, Castlevania is the same way. There's a program to edit Castlevania specifically um, for that case. But unfortunately, Contra won't work. Uh, okay. but I, Diablo. Diablo, what? Oh. Earthbound beginning. Earthbound, well, it's, um, you know what? We have Earthbound. We have and get out of the USA folder. And Earthbound's a great one because uh, the way the graphics are laid out on that one um, is wonderful. And you'll see that here in a moment. Uh, is it, my, do I have it under? Uh, well, I, I, I can at least grab the Japanese one for sure. Do I not have a Japanese folder? Imports, Famicom, anything. What about Kirby? Kirby would be good. I'll, I'll, I'll check out Kirby here in a second too. Hopefully it's under translated. It may be. That's what I was looking for. Mother, Earth. Oh, Earthbound Prototype. Sure, whatever. Probably the same thing. So, nicely done on these. And again, just dragging and dropping is always the easiest way, but, you know, or even just to get, um, oh, see, there's some, there's some familiar things there. Uh, but then when you get to the characters, which is going to be down the ways a little bit more, there's the, the spinning globe at the title screen, you know, different frames of animation. Um, text and titles and the ship and text on the wall. Ah, oh, here we go. 
Brilliant. So easily, well, he's facing the wrong way, isn't he? Mm. We can flip it around. I'll, I can, I'll show you how to do that. Um, so here's the front part. So you see that is where the front part of little Mario would go. But then if you click on that, you can flip it so he's facing the right direction. Although it might be funnier to see him moonwalk. <laughs> so I think we're going to do that instead, just in the interest of time. So he's going to be running backwards. I'll try to make him run backwards anyway. So there is one, and then same head, backward, backward. And um, is there a stand? And then there's, there's the standstill one. So he'll be, it'll be, I'm not going to change every, um, you know, every instance of a graphic, I suppose, but I'll do a couple things here, a little thing there, like that, maybe like this. Uh, when he's jumping, I don't know, dude. This will be interesting. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, that's fine enough. Okay. Uh, fine. Well, well, we'll leave that as is, and we can always look around here too. There's um, here's a here's a present. Perfect. We can have um, uh, the the mushroom will be the present. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you have any ideas too, just shout them out. We can. We'll, we'll edit what we can, um, how we can, but that's a good idea. So we have that. Let's do... Um, Make the Goomba the lamb. The lamb? The lamb. Oh, the lamb. I don't see why not. <laughs> There's gotta be the lamb graphic in here somewhere. Right there. Oh, did you see it already? Yeah. Slow down a little bit. Right down there, Fox Right there. This, this in here? Yes. Okay. Sure. Now, what's going to happen here, too, um, is the Goomba only has, there's only, you only see one Goomba here. It's one, there's only, only one graphic. It mirrors, it flips, it flip flops, which gives it the, the walking animation. Um, it, so if you do the, like, um, like sometimes when I do this presentation, I'll do like the Pac Man ghost. So it does like the eyes look like they're moving back and forth. <laughs> um, but you'll get, this, you'll get the same effect from this thing. So. The Goomba's now the lamp. Um, Big Mario is Dr. Jekyll. Little Mario is moonwalking. Uh, we have, I mean, this is the flag. We can do, uh, uh, the fireball is only an eight by eight pixel block. Um, but if there's any ideas that we can throw, if there's. What about that shooting star? Yeah. Shoot, oh, it's our, right here, shooting star. So let's do the shooting star. And then here's another shooting star because it's two frames of animation, but we can also just rotate this. So, it'll be flipping around when that happens. We can do that. The, the flag that pops up on the top of the screen when you go through the, the, the castle. Oh, that piano's great. I wish I could use that piano for something. Um, we'll use the piano for the uh, flag. It won't, be, it won't be the entire graphic, but. So yeah, it's just, it's a whole lot of this, just dragging and dropping. Can we change the question blocks to something? Well, I think we should. That's why we're here. Um, Got to find them first. So I think, is, are they down here? Here we go. So here's the question block right here. Um, who suggested the question block? Oh, I did. Oh, uh, what would you like to change it to? What's good? It doesn't have to be from this game. It could be from another game. If you think of a game that has kind of a square, I mean, it could be, it could be a character too, if you want. It could, these are, it could be the witch, I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's the witch, actually. Okay, perfect. I don't even know if that's a witch. This kind of looks like one. Um, but hey, I'm down for it. Why not? All right, there's that, this. One more for good luck. And let me save this just so I don't lose it. Save, it's already saved. Oh, now it's, now it's saved. There we go. Come on. I'm not used to using this uh, touch screen here. Um, and that's kind of cool. So we have, let's see, um, anything else? Like the, the coins are, the, it's only one piece and then it does the reverse image for the underneath part. Um, so I lost this, this giant emerald. Go ahead. For the spin block after you get the question mark. Oh. I'm sure it was. It was down, uh, oh yeah, right here, like the empty one. So there you go, hit the witch, get the item. Turns into the crystal. 
And it's still using the de whatever the default colors are in Super Mario Brothers. That's exactly what the colors are for now until we until we change the colors. Um, and just like well, using the same graphic, you know, most people know uh, probably everyone in this room that you know the bushes and the clouds are the same thing. Well, here's here's the cloud. Here's the oh my god, the piano is the clouds. <laughs> That's. We, we can change the other thing to something else. It won't look exactly perfect, but let's see what we can do. Because I think it's, it's like four, four pixels long here. So it'll be the land of music. And it might be, there might be something in the middle of it too, because I see the top part here. So there's something in between which might just be a basic, just like red, Graphic, so it, there might it was, it still might be a little bit fluffy in the middle, um, and then uh, on top of the piano, just to fill in this space, we're gonna put this little fish here. <laughs> the fish on the piano. There we go. Okay. Well, let's just see what we have so far, and then we'll um, well, then we'll change some colors. Oh, hold on. I'm second guessing everything now. I'll make the cute like the monkey. The monkey? Yes. I don't see why not. Do you see the monkey on this screen? Oh, wait, no, it's right there, right there, right behind that green thing right there. I see the penguin. Oh, right here, right here, right here, right? All right, now the Koopa is, is interesting because it has the shell and then there's one more fifth piece on top, which is where the eyes are, but we don't need to use that. Um, it's still maybe a hit detection block. Here's the Koopa, here, there's the eyes part. You can probably, that's probably pretty recognizable right there. We can just delete this. So it's empty. Unless the monkey's holding a banana or something, I don't know. Even again, that's that's your creativity. That stays the same, and then here's the eyes part, and here's the monkey. Again, the monkeys. I will have the monkey facing the right way. Everyone, and everyone in this game is facing the opposite way. So there's that, and then the back, which would be here on the top of the shell. I'm hoping this is going to turn out right. And then the front part is the front part of the Koopa. I edited out one of the pixels, didn't mean to do that, and I'll leave it in there anyway. And then the back part of the monkey walking is this back part of the Koopa. Now, and then here's, you know what, I'm just gonna do, nope, let's not do that. Highlight, like this, there we go, all right. Good suggestion. And then the monkey, here's the standing still part. And sometimes you can't always see everything all the time, but you can, again, it's a lot of trial and error, <laughs> like doing these things. Sometimes um, sometimes games take an afternoon. Uh, the one that took me the longest took me like eight months, you know, just, to, just off and on. So, yeah, whatever you have time for. Again, it's free, so it's like, you know, keeps you busy. Uh, it was, I, uh, somebody won a contest where um, it was at the Cowlitz Gamers for Kids Expo, when we had the Expo in Cowlitz, and uh, they were doing the auction for the charity, and I said, well, I'll, I'll hack someone in a video game. Um, and the person who won didn't want Super Mario Brothers, but they wanted that Sonic bootleg or whatever. Oh, God. So, so I, hacked the, I hacked the bootleg of Sonic <laughs> to feature uh, the, the boy, like the, the, the boy of the parents who won like the parents who won Sun, um, to put him in. So I had to learn how Sonic was even set up and all the frames of animation and all that. But they, they were happy to wait, so. And it was a one-off and I didn't get any money for it, so. It's, but it's also someone else's game, so it's like, all right, it's fine. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. It's not gonna be perfect, not gonna be pretty. Ooh, there. All right, let's, let's see what we got so far. Well, I mean. <laughs> But we, let's see, that's kind of cool, though. And there's the present. And then, hold on, I want to see the, I want to see the, uh, I want to see the monkey. I want to see the monkey. Show me the monkey. Come on now. Monkey. <laughs> but it'll still be the turtle shell upside down, or it'll still be the shell, because that, that's a separate graphic completely. Um, but again, the colors... Uh, 
Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, let me, um, I did, I did. And, I'm, and we'll, we'll look at that here in just a second. Um, leaving this, leaving this as is, and let me, um, uh, we, yeah, we have time, perfect. I'm gonna close out of this for now. It's fine, it's saved, because when you change the hex, it's going to, um, it'll save over whatever you already have. So you can only edit one thing at a time. Wrong. Uh, so what I did was, uh, through FCEUX, you can do a debug. The PPU viewer shows this, which are all the graphics that you'll see on screen, all the colors you'll see on screen, as well as, um, just as well as everything they are. And then you do, open, again, I didn't know anything about hex editing before this, but open up the hex editor. Uh, these things, these simple things will make sense when you, when, uh, once you see them. This is the game working in action here, and you can see the numbers just freaking out. But if you go to the ROM, that's static. This is the game's information. If you start changing these things, you're gonna start changing the game. Uh, color, physics, everything else. I'm not gonna talk about physics today. Um, but we can definitely talk about uh, we can talk about the color, because the color is uh, one of the easiest things you can edit. So over the... Oh, there he goes. Let me at least start it, just so I can pause it. Just to keep things st static. So every group of four are different colors of something on screen. Um, usually down here in this corner, this is going to be like player one's palette. Uh, it's always going to be the same background. Um, every character has three colors per pixel block and then one transparency. So although on that TLP it looked like there's black and then three other colors, black is just see-through. So it's not actually going to, you know, unless you have a black background, it's fine. Uh, so you have Mario's colors are red, kind of orangish, and brown for his hair and overalls. But we can change this, and I have, hopefully, it's still on this drive here. I think it's still on here. I hope so. Uh, it is. Here is, soon, and, and if you just look up like NES color palette, you'll, you'll find images like this. I just have this one handy. Um, this is every color you've ever seen in any Nintendo game are one of these colors. This is all you get. It's like 64 colors or something like that. Um, one of those did you know gaming things is Mario is blue because there are more blues than any other color on here. Uh, but that aside, it also gives you the kind of hex of what that color is. So if it's, if Mario is, see how that's too many things open up here and only one monitor. We have, what? I didn't want to close that. Bring it back. Oh, not that. This. Debug. PPU viewer. I, I don't know what PPU stands for. I can I could look it up, but there we go. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> we have 16. See, that's the, that's. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're here. I see even I'm learning. That's all that's, that's what I love about it. Um, so here's the red, which is six, 16. Move this out of the way for a second. Move this out of the way for a second. Um, when you look over, when you highlight over these numbers, it shows you like the palette number. So 16, 27, 18. And you look over here, so there's 16. It's not going to be color for color, but 16, 27, 18. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. So if I change 16 to something else, we've got to find it first. You can just do the control F and go 16, 27, 18 in a row. This works for most games, not every game, but most games. Uh, look for the hex on that in this game. It'll highlight it. Oh, here it is. 16, 27, 18. Sometimes you can look over here to 30, 27, 19. You look over here. No, that's, sometimes, it, sometimes they're in a row. This time, apparently not. It's all right. So 16, 27, 18. Normally he's red, but Mario is not red in this because in this one, red is his clothing. So what color clothing should he have instead? I heard green. I heard green first. Hold on. One A. Oh, the one A is also the pipes. We can go. Let's. You know what? Let's do 29. That's like lemon. That's like lime aid. I don't know. 29. Like neon green. Beautiful. Uh, what color is his skin? Pink. Of course it's pink. Why wouldn't it be? Hot pink. Hot pink. Well, oh, does it go, 14. Does it, go 14. You want to go 14? Okay. It might, it might show up as like a purple. 24. Let's do 24. Good idea. Somewhere right in the middle. Good, good, good thinking. And then is brown his... Oh, no, his uh, skin color is 24. 
And it will be different for whatever Dr. Jekyll, uh, what his color palette was, because not every game used the same, like the three things for skin, clothes, outline. Later on in NES games, almost every game has like the black outline or dark outline. Um, but for this game, and then what's orange? Uh, his, his hat, his gloves, and we can change that to uh, what color here? Brown, sure. Oh, it's already brown. What am I doing? Oh, no, that, that's not brown. That's something else. Okay, uh, let's, you know what? let's do 18. Cyan. Cyan? No, I'm down for cyan. Um, 3C. You want to do 3C? 3C? We can do 3C. 3C is like super vivid. 3C. And then we'll save this. Save. So now those colors should. automatic <laughs> but we can change more too like we can change the, uh, the you know the pipes are you know 19 1 a 0 F is uh, is black here 19 1 a ah get back here 1 a 0 F nope I might need to use capital letters here nope Uh, does it work that way? Nope. What's going on here? What, what, I mean, it's not finding it for some reason. Oh, 291A. Oh, 29. I put 19. I was like, I've done that before. It's worked it every time. Come on. There, okay, there it goes. Um, um, uh, what's, a, what's another good color here? We can do blue. Um, zero, two, and you can kind of see the, like, you know, the darker it is, zero, you know, uh, like, you know, zero, two, one, two, three, two, you know, two, two, three, two. It's progressively lighter and lighter. It does not go to 4-2. Um, it just, it won't give you anything if it does that. But we can do, if it's lighter than darker, we can go 12 then 0 2. And I'll give you the theme. Um, so 12, 0 2. Um, you don't even need to save it, at least in that. It's not that bad. But that changes things blue or something. Um, so let's. Let's just, let's do this. And now, it's still, it still it says Mario, but we don't want it to say Mario. So we can change the text on that. We'll do that here before we, um, before we try to play through this. I'm gonna try to at least be through, uh, at least the, the first few stages here, using a keyboard. Let's see how that goes. Um, sometimes you can find the text over here. I'll show you a good example. I'll show you a good example. In, let's see, let's go. I think Little Nemo the Dream Master. Little Mermaid. Thank you. Oh, look at you. That was a drive-by mousing. I'll take it. <laughs> I love that sound. Nice. Cool. I think he was getting annoyed. He's like, good lord, this guy. <laughs> You've done this before? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why he keeps telling me that, because I keep on double-clicking it, and it's not. All right. Really? No, just pause it. Um, there's pause. Um, just, just so I can show you. Um, like, in this game, Little Game of the Dream Masters, some other games, too. I think Wrath of the Black Magic might be another one. If you're lucky... If you're lucky, sometimes some games have all the text, which makes it so much easier. I don't see it here. I, I, know, I know it's on here somewhere. It's all, I'm, I'm skipping through a bunch of the time. I see a little bit there, too. Oh, eat, uh, what? Oh, oh, so there's, I mean, sure, things like the, oh, come on. Think, like, like, like here's the ending credits, and then that's so what I was somewhere up here is probably all of the end game. You know, I could also just look for it. Um, Nemo, look for text. Seriously? <laughs> maybe, maybe it's all caps. And that's that's the other thing too. Is some games are all caps. Really? <laughs> By the way, my name's Flip. What about his dream. Maybe it doesn't want to find it. Oh, it, may, it might be looking for it in something else, but hold on. Well, 
Well, I mean. No, that's true, yeah. Let me put it there. Let's try up. Oh, not hex. Up. Why not? Still nothing. Um, well, you can take my word for it. Anyway. <laughs> I know it's here somewhere. It's just, uh, I know you th you'd figure. You'd think. This is a different version of the game, which I wouldn't think it would be. But I'm not saying. Well, like an RPG, like back in the board or something. Yeah, some of those can. Um, well, I won't bore you with it, but sometimes it'll just have the entire block of text all at once of every word said in the game <laughs> on one side. Super Mario Brothers, unfortunately, does not. Um, and I just closed out of that, which I didn't want to do. So let me open that back up. We're done with colors for now. Let's go to back, back. That, this, back. Bring back my Super Mario RPG. Um, oh, so good, I love it already. I love it already. Um, we have the PPU viewer, and then we have the, um, the hex editor on the NES ROM. And unfortunately, um, we can't see that, we can't find the text uh, by nature of you know, how it looks right now. But there's another free program. This is the other, the other program I use called uh, TBL Later, which is Table Later. And again, completely free, and it looks like this. Pretty, pretty boring, but we're gonna build a table that shows us the text in this NES game um, by nature of looking at the PPU viewer. And you'll find where the numbers are, you'll find where the letters are, sometimes uppercase, sometimes lowercase. Uh, this one has numbers and uppercase letters only, no lowercase, that's fine by me, it does not matter. Um, just like over here, tile, and you see the numbers all flipping around, Th that's where those pieces would be. Here's where the numbers are, starts with zero, zero, that's easy enough, here's zero, zero, automate, numbers. And again, I have a video on my channel that cover all this. Um, and you find all the letters. Uppercase starts at zero A, fortunately it's next, no, that's easy enough. Uh, auto alphabet, the uppercase. The other one's lowercase, don't need to worry about that because there is no lowercase. And then you save this as its own table, which I already have one because I did it, may not have done this before. So do I want to replace it? Sure, why not? It's the same thing. So now we can load this up. Let's have a look. So when you go to file, you can load your table file. And then you have to go back to your drive. You find the table. And here it is. And it'll look like things changed. Nothing changed. The only thing that changed is just how it looks at things. Um, so when you, but now when you scroll down, I'm afraid to do this part again because it wasn't working last time. Text down. Can I type in Mar? Uh, can I type in Mario? Nope. Apparently not. Mario. There we go. Mario. There's Mario. Okay. So now we have Mario World Time World Mario again. Time up. Mario, Luigi, game over, welcome to Warp Zone. Um, is there a five letter name in the audience? Clara. Clara? Was that right, Clara? C-L-A-R-A, -A. perfect. We can use Clara in the most polite way possible. So, oh, I didn't, didn't, didn't mean to type it over there. You can type it over here just by typing C-L-A-R-A. You can go longer, but then once you go longer, it starts messing with the game's code, and then there's, um, again, what, like you can end up breaking the game. Not breaking the game, but they'll make it so that the text wraps around and it's static on the screen for the whole game. So sometimes I try to make it so it's just right. Mario, Mario, Mario. And, but just by editing over here, see, that already says Clara, right at the top screen there. Yeah. Um, time up. Uh, game, game over. You, uh, this one doesn't have, you can't use space. Hex 24 is space, so you can type in 24, there's your space. Game over, you suck, yeah. <laughs> you suck. Sucker, I don't know, I'll do another 24 just for the space there. Well, fun, and um, what else have we got here? 
nothing. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you, Clara. You know, or thank you, Luigi. Uh, but our princess is in another castle. Well, we can change that. What should we change it to? Any ideas? Store. Store? Go somewhere else. Oh, I love it. Go 24 some. What are we doing here? Come on. Right? Oh, it's, that's on that. I gotta change that. Okay, go somewhere. Take a little bit here. Hold on. Thinking, waiting. Somewhere. Twenty-four. Presumably, you could put the twenty-four in the table as well. Um, you know, maybe. Um, I never thought of that. Somewhere else. I wonder if that would be possible, though. I mean, it makes sense. I would still have more space. Go somewhere. And. Again, and it, because it went a letter over, it may start freaking out, but that's fine by me. It's, <laughs> it's gonna freak out. Yeah. I, we still, we still have, isn't another castle though, right? Oh, we sure can. Go somewhere else. Space. Oh, uh, what else should we say? Like to another pond. <laughs> like. <laughs> To it may not it, it won't it won't fit, but we'll you'll we'll see what happens when you add too much text. Like to another Actually it might space out perfectly. Well we'll see. I mean again, a lot of trial and error, con. Alright. I got two three minutes? Good lord. Alright. I'll do what I can. Uh say the ROM. It's saved. It's done. Can I at least get through 1-4 on a keyboard in time? And we'll see what other... Uh, oh, and when you jump, his uh, head separates, by the way. <laughs> Just so you know. All right, so here's my cosplay, uh, vibrant, 80s-style Lisa Frank. Yeah, I gotta get that. I actually might need that. Oh, we didn't change the flower. It's okay, though. But he shoots these, um, you can barely see them. You can barely see them. All right. Lame! It's all right, I like, I like uh, break dancing. Get here. Okay, come on, you. All right, so far so good. Let's, yep, move up right into the castle. Oh, we never changed the piano from the flag, so we'll get a, we'll get a, a, a chunk of a piano there. That's fine. Because <laughs> why not? All right. Which one was the uh, save state? Was it P? Do you remember off the top of your head? No. Oh, it's probably shit. There we go. Come on. I'll need that. Oh, I'm not playing on a keyboard, so it's like, oh, I mean, I am playing on a keyboard, I'm not playing on a controller. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually did that. I'm pressing myself. All right, come on, you. I won't worry about that. We can change those to something, of course. All right, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monkey! Love that. What a great idea. I do want that, though. Wow. My, good lord. All right. Never mind. No. Yep, yep, yep. I'm not going to go for it. Not going to go for it. Ah. All right. Come on, Clara. Hold, hold shift. You'll zoom through it here. Come on. Just in case. Come on, we're almost done here. Oh. I just need to start bringing like a control. As if we were at a convention that had controllers. <laughs> I could have just brought, brought one from like, you know, like, you know, retro bit or something. 
All right, we're back to this guy again. That's good news. Flying monkey! <laughs> uh, we are. We could have made it uh, Emerald City. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, and because the fireball is now the comet, um, the fire chain is also going to be those comets. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. <laughs> I saw nothing! Ah, oh, it's even harder. I can't even see these things. That doesn't look so bad. All right, we're almost done here. We're almost done. Yeah, we're, our, our time is up. I don't care if I get hit. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'll take that. But wait, thank you, Clara. Go somewhere else like another con. <laughs> That's my presentation. My God. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and to the right are the playlist of the Portland Retro 2022 and some other interesting videos. Thank you.